We are back with Talk of the Town with a couple of guests from the Island Academy of Hilton Head. We have Tiffany Hathaway and Jennifer Winsler. Welcome. It's good to see you again. Thank you. Great to see you. It's great to be here. Yes, always. So for our viewers that might not be familiar with the Island Academy, tell us a little bit about about the school and how it began and where you are in the whole process of education. So we're a small private school, yes. K through 12. Um, this will be our upcoming, this will be our seventh year. Um, we've grown um, quickly, uh, somewhat systematically, but at the <laughs> beginning it was very quick. Um, it was, we were the first school to introduce um, well one, like the smaller class size, mm -hmm. we have a one to eight teacher-student mm -hmm. ratio and we really teach for understanding, so it's mm -hmm. not just content driven. Um, while there is rigor in terms of academics, we teach by way of projects and experiential kind of hands-on. Um, we teach for applicability, so students understand, it makes sense what they're More learning. Practical learning mm -hmm. style, right? Teaching for life, ter right. teaching for life, which is so much, if you look at um, all the data, what the 21st century is looking for, you know, kids that learn, that are able to think, be flexible, um, work in different settings, adaptable, yeah, agile. You can look yes. at what Google looks for, look up all that stuff. And, <laughs> and that's kind of the way we've good. Um, approached learning from the beginning. And so you're evolving, like mm -hmm. you're like growing and evolving and a lot of things going on. You have the first summer camp this year. You brought Tiffany on board from Ohio to really grow uh, the whole extracurricular piece, the mm -hmm. sports piece. Mm -hmm. So Tiffany, first of all, welcome to South Carolina. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> and, and I know the Island Academy is, is happy to have <laughs> yeah. you. So talk a little bit about your role and what you're doing this summer and what you're preparing for in the fall. All right, so this summer we created eight weeks of summer camps. Um, we have science and art and uh, a lot of leadership opportunities and community service opportunities, but our program so far, we just completed four and then this is our week off and then we have four more. Um, but we have had a blast. Last week was engineering. We created foil boats and bridges out of paper. And um, at the end of the week, I said, uh, everyone close your eyes. And then I asked them some questions. And one of them was, if you feel like you've made a friend at camp, uh, raise your hand. And every single child rose their hand. And oh. um, so we're not just having these great like academic moments mm -hmm. or just fun. We're also building community and relationships in a time where it's never been more important, important. to build community and relationships. Which Excellent. is so much what our school's about. Yes. <clears throat> and Tiffany's done an amazing job exemplifying that through camp. And working together as a team on a project. Um, mm -hmm. So let's move into the fall with the extracurricular and, and you're adding some sports. So what are you planning? So our school is ready to to just expand, right? To explode. To so um, <laughs> we want to make sure that all of our students have opportunities. And sports are great. I know I played so many sports in school when I was younger. And um, once again, that community aspect and um, being able to work as a team, it it's so much more into that leadership skills mm -hmm. that we want mm -hmm. our students to have. So we'll be hopefully working with some community partners. I know that um, we have like such a beautiful rec center on the island and uh, we wanna be able to use our community to um, continue to grow these wonderful leaders. And so the extracurricular piece is is so important, and and so you didn't have it in the beginning, Jennifer. Uh, the we've school. had a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> so what we've done is after school clubs. What we're what okay. actually what Tiffany will be implementing is an after school programming that will um, open up to the community. So mm -hmm. ideally, we'll have some other students coming in. It will be. Um, spaces will be limited at least this year. We want to start out. We want to make sure that we offer a quality. Um, experience for the kids participating mm -hmm. and those um, first opportunities will come will be offered to our students um, and then we'll reach out to the community so um, if anybody's interested in participating I know that Tiffany has a lot of ideas in terms of what the programming will look like it'll be somewhat similar to camp experiences which I think people have really appreciated mm -hmm. um, but you can maybe speak more to that like what may happen after school yeah so I'm wanting to implement some mentoring 
Um, mm-hmm. I come from an after school and camp background. Okay. Um, so okay. this will be my fourth year planning a after school program and um, mentoring, homework help, but also like life skills. So if your child wants to learn how to cook or how to do laundry, or um, we always talk about how it'd be nice if people knew how to balance a checkbook in school. <laughs> sure. You know, um, so those kind of things, I want to make sure that they're leaving our after school program feeling ready. And um, I'm hoping that they go to school and they learn everything that they, they need to um, in our curriculum there, but also after school, if they come in and they're like, uh, Miss Tiffany, how do I wash my clothes? I can be like, yeah, I've got you. (laughs) Absolutely. Yeah, it'll be somewhat student driven for sure. Um, And Tiffany is so good at um, kind of turning those things into learning lessons, whatever that is. Uh, But we want the students to have fun and learn and then also create further community like you've spoken to. Sounds so exciting. It's fun. (laughs) If someone wants to be involved as a volunteer, you mentioned mentoring, so what do we do? So um, we can be reached, so we have emails. I think you can reach me at jennifer at islandacademyofhiltonhead.org and certainly our um, website, there's a contact form there, which is hhiacademy.com. Um, but they're certainly reach out, yeah. Okay, thank you all for being with us. And uh, we'll touch base again in the fall. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> thank you. Thanks thank so you much. Thank you, and Jennifer. Thank you. And that's it for this edition of Talk of the Town, and we'll see you next time.